Midwesterners wade through waist-high floodwaters trying to grab what they can from their soggy homes. A mix of heavy rain and rapid snowmelt has led to historic flooding in parts of the country's midsection. I was scared. I was petrified. You know, I didn't know what was, how fast it was coming up. Homes and businesses are submerged, some under six to seven feet of water as roads become rivers and towns turn into islands. All these little towns devastated. Just all the houses lost. Where are we going to put them? Rising rivers have breached levees up and down the Missouri River. Some rivers have already crested, but with more rain and snow melt expected, several waterways could remain at major flood stage. And mandatory evacuations are in place in states like Iowa, Missouri, and hard-hit Nebraska. They're telling everybody just grab what you can and get out. Not everyone is able to just grab what they can and get out. Volunteer pilots are being called in to help rescue stranded residents. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Homeowners like Gary Young know many of his neighbors have nowhere to go, and he could be next. Their campers are gone. Um, they're just destroyed. They're not there anymore. I'm fortunate enough, mine's still sitting there, but I'm sure by the time we get into it, it'll be destroyed on the inside. One of the big concerns now is all of that water heading downstream, right into communities that simply can't take any more water. In Cass County, Nebraska, Charles Watson, Fox News.